Uh, we have the strut. Norland Pelicans are on the clock. Adam Silver is walking to the podium. Let's get nuts. Let's see what we got. All right. What do we got, Matt Penny? What do we got? He's just, he's staring. He refuses to speak because he's on mute right now. And... All right, you are on the clock. Dyson Daniels from Land Down yep. Under, Sam Vecini. Yeah, it's uh, Dyson's great. I'm a big fan. Dyson is the best uh, guard defender in this class, depending on like how you want to define Jeremy Sohan and Tari Eason in terms of like their switchability and their ability to defend out in space. Uh, I think Dyson's going to do a better job of guarding like actual guards in the NBA than anyone in this draft class. He is uh, absolutely terrific at getting through screens. He fights, he scratches, he claws. Uh, he is also a really good decision maker. He is almost the, like the comparison I've been making is like, if you can imagine like Lonzo ball going to Villanova and then <laughs> teaching him like how to jump stop all the time and like get into the paint, jump stop, survey and then like make a great decision not that lonzo was a bad decision a bad decision maker or anything i'm looking at matt's face and he's just like bugging out right now um i'm, I'm, I'm processing i'm listening i'm watching i'm texting who's up next i'm, I'm just it's it's a scramble point equations out of the sky keep going you're, you're the, right the big thing with the big thing with uh dyson is he is a phenomenal head man passer he's a phenomenal playmaker he's incredibly unselfish uh makes cross corner kick out reads throws lobs with real touch I think this is a perfect fit for New Orleans. Like this is a team that lost Lonzo Ball last offseason to the uh, Chicago Bulls. Yeah. Now they get Dyson Daniels, who is a, essentially like a cheaper Lonzo replacement for Ball Lonzo. X. Yeah, esque. Yeah. Which fits in like a pretty real way. Dyson six foot seven, um, you know, six foot ten and a half wingspan. He is uh, he's someone that is very switchable. He fits a lot of what the Pelicans look for in terms of versatility. Yeah, this is all around great for Dyson. I think. It is. I, I would have liked them to add a little bit more shooting to that core. When we did our prospect videos, one of the fits we did like was New Orleans Pelicans for Dyson Daniels. A little surprise, I think, with Portland taking Shaden Sharp to pick before, it threw like a little bit of wrinkles and stuff because we've a lot of the buzz has been Usman Jang was the guy here at eight for the New Orleans Pelicans. That didn't happen. Mm. Uh, no, no, not 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 over Dyson. Yeah, no, it, it's well, always well, been Dyson over. So that's yeah. my so that's my point though. The the pick before Dyson Daniels, if he had gone seventh, I think then eighth would have been Usman. Then the Spurs would have had a decision: do they take the flyer on Shaden Sharp? Do they go a different direction? Do they go for a big. There's there's a lot of different possibilities there. I like Dyson Daniels. I, I'm not as high on the defense as as you are per se. Uh, I do like the pairing kind of that they have in the backcourt, and then. They were a good team last year. Like that. That's why. Like I wanted them to take the swing. This is still a, a really young kid who learned on the fly, playing with the G League Ignite. Came into his own the last like month of the season. It took him a while to even believe in himself. And what he did, and we're at All Star Weekend. What I tweeted out was, it, it's a little bit of a small thing, but he looked like he belonged. He was one of the guys that looked like an actual NBA player out there. He wasn't searching shots. Yeah. He was getting out in transition. He was making plays. He was defending. Now you put other NBA guys around him and in other places it's just known for their development. Uh, it makes sense. It does. I don't know how often they're going to get up in this range again. This is a byproduct of the Anthony Davis trade. But for the, like this is an investment just as much as Shaden Sharp is for a younger guy in the draft that has all the tools that the click would be a, a great pick for them. Yeah, no, I think that that's a really good way to put it. Uh Again, this is someone who fits what New Orleans has looked for previously. They love these guys that have very versatile skill sets that can defend at a high level that uh, are unselfish players. It is someone that I think could genuinely really help them. This is a team also that like they're, you know, there are rumors at the very least that they're considering moving Devonte Graham. They like positional size. They like uh, guys that have that intersection of skill with size. I think there's a pretty real chance that he's playing at least rotation level minutes next year as a 19 year old in the NBA. Um, and shout out Dyson Daniels, kid from Bendigo in Australia. Oh, here like, you go. I was waiting it, for baby. it. I was waiting for it. I was Let's waiting go. for you to like take your shirt off and have a Dyson Daniels jersey on or something. Yeah, like two hours northwest of where I am right now. Yeah, just Perfect. all about it. Like played for the Victorian team here where I'm at. How, like, let's how, go. Yeah. How, how many Australian basketball podcasts are you going to have to go on and talk about Dyson Daniels tomorrow? That's that's my question. Is that the line at two and that's a half? That's a good question. 